You know, every year a few things happen in the world of tech that leave us scratching our heads. Like why Apple redesigned Final Cut for four-year-olds, why Quicken no longer works on the Mac, or why a Roku box has a jeans tab. But those are trivial compared to this list. The top five tech f uh, turkeys of 2011. Blunders that someone just had to get fired over. Number five, the flip camera. Cisco paid $590 million to buy Flip in 2009. They got the brand, the cameras, the company, all of it. And then in April 2011, they killed it all. They didn't scale it back, they didn't license the technology, didn't even sell it as a loss, they just shut it down. Yes, smartphones are bearing down hard on Flip cameras, but Flip was the dominant brand in a still decent category, synonymous with those kind of cameras. It doesn't require any more R&D at this point, how much money do they leave on the table with that one? Number four, WebOS and HP personal computers. We started checking the dumpsters outside of HP for empty booze bottles when they announced in August they were suddenly killing off the WebOS mobile platform and devices and selling or spinning off their PC division. Don't those deserve two separate press releases? It was a bolt out of the blue and made HP look like it never got mobile and it gave a good case of the willies to its PC clients and partners, and that's not a small business. The whole debacle cost the CEO his gig and HP a lot of its cred as a Silicon Valley visionary. Number three, the Sony PlayStation Network breach. In a year of unprecedented hacks and attacks, the Sony PSN breach was perhaps the ugliest. In early April, PlayStation Network was brought to its knees, and the customer records of some 100 million users were pinched largely stored unencrypted. All-in PSN and Sony Curiosity were down for like three weeks. BlackBerry gets hell when their network goes down for three days. Oh, and that also happened this year. Sony made amends by tossing users some free games and stuff, which is kind of like the croupier buying you breakfast when you just lost your car at the Baccarat table. Number two, RIM. Just RIM. The BlackBerry maker didn't have any one product or moment that its fate turned on this year, and maybe that was the problem. Just 12 long months of meh. 2011 in general was a year that the question, what's up with BlackBerry, was on everyone's lips. Apple retained the title for most popular smartphone, Android took over as most popular platform, Windows Phone as most promising, and RIM got kudos for having a good keyboard. Not much to work with there. Okay, our number one tech turkey of 2011, Netflix. When you hear folks say your company's strategy is gonna be studied in business schools for years to come, that's either real good or real bad. For Netflix, check the ladder box. In July, the company raised the cost of a DVD plus streaming plan from 10 bucks to $16 overnight, a 60% bump. The backlash was big. Subscriber cancellations and nasty headlines sent the once darling of home video in a U-turn. Then they fixed it by announcing Quickster, a new company to handle DVD rentals separately from their streaming. Because nothing takes a user's mind off a 60% price hike like a 100% hike in hassles. Well, they reversed that Quickster idea a few days later, but the price hike stayed. And the worst part of the story is Netflix is still a great service at a great price. But no one notices that anymore because it's now a banged up brand. All they had to do was handle it right. But I guess they didn't want to give up this coveted number one slot to rim. For more top fives like this, head over to top5.cnet.com. I'm Brian Cooley. Thanks for watching.